Hey guys, what's up? So today I just want to talk about the Watch Dogs multiplayer. As you can tell, I'm currently playing a decryption mode. If you guys aren't actually familiar with it, all it is is that in this mode, this is the team-based one. So there's two teams of people going after one file. The, the main objective of the mode is to go grab that file and decrypt it and to get 100%, which is listed up in the corner. Now you decrypt the file by just holding onto it, but you do get boosts in the amount of time and how fast you're decrypting it if more team members are around you. Now, the also, I think this is kind of weird, but I don't know, it's, it's, it's different, it's interesting, is that that file is decrypted over time for, like, both teams. Now, what I mean by that is that, let's say I decrypt the file to 25% and the other team steals it, they start decrypting it at already 25% and it continues that way. It's kind of interesting because, you know, you can have those last second victories and that kind of cool stuff. But it also sucks at the same time, just because, you know, you can have one team that decrypts the file up to 99%, and then the other team steals it last second, decrypts it 1%, and wins. Which really doesn't make much sense, because, you know, they can win just based off of one lucky moment. I mean, uh, yeah, it's kind of different, it's kind of interesting, but it does suck at the same time if you've been holding on to the file for the whole game, and then the other team wins based off of just some lucky moment, which is kind of stupid in my personal opinion. But you know, it's, it's different, it's interesting, it's kind of fun to play. So if you are lucky enough to actually get in a match or have the patience to get into one, it is a very fun and interesting mode. And also, I would definitely recommend trying out the other ones. It's just they do get kind of repetitive. And what I mean is try out the other modes like tailing and the one-on-one -on -one hacking and the race versions because those are, they're fun, but I just feel that they're repetitive. And also, when it comes to decryption, I feel like it's going to get repetitive as well just because it's they're all the same type of idea, you know? It's just the same mode pretty much over and over again. So it's a unique multiplayer and it does have its fun moments, but I do believe it's fairly forgettable. You know, and when the next game comes out, you're not going to really remember it. And it probably will maybe be something you come back to later on, but it's nothing that's going to leave a major impression in the gaming community as a whole. Or at least, I don't think it will. So really, that's all I wanted to talk about. That's pretty much all I have to say about the multiplayer. Is that it's actually, you know, it's an enjoyable experience, but I believe it is forgettable and it's repetitive over a certain period of time. I don't agree with the imbalance that kind of occurs in some of these modes. I think that they could use some tweaking which may come later on in maybe future games. It might happen with Watch Dogs, but I honestly don't see Ubisoft making any major changes, especially since Watch Dogs is not primarily focused on the multiplayer aspect. So I'm going to leave the rest of this multiplayer gameplay running for you guys so you can just watch it. We actually do manage to pull off a victory here, which I'm very surprised about. One thing I have noticed with this multiplayer game is that it does kind of want you to go grab the file and get in a car and run away. That's the main way to win. But we actually do kind of sit down and just guard one spot, but we still managed to win. I was happy with how it turned out. I hope you enjoyed the rest of the stuff. I'm out of here. I will be posting some more Watch Dogs gameplay later this week, so come check that out, and I will be posting some gameplay of the UFC demo tomorrow. So that's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to that. You guys have a great rest of your day. I'm out of here. See ya.